In this video, I'm going to show you how to time travel at home using Filmora 10. Keep watching! Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you're always updated on our next video releases. Today, I'm going to show you how you can activate a time traveling teleportation device using clever filming and editing in Filmora 10. Now, am I saying that time traveling teleportation devices are real? Well, in Filmora HQ, they definitely are. So, let's get into it. To do this effect, we need to film two rounds to get our clips ready for editing. In the first round, we need to light the set with a blue light. Bluish light is usually used to imitate daylight, and the light that is 5,600 kelvins usually gives a daylight look. If you don't have a blue light on hand, check out our Mimic Professional Gear video to see how you can change the light color with plastic binder dividers. For the first round of filming, let the subject do their acting and then have them step over to the nighttime dimension from right to left. I suggest using the middle line of the frame as a cross line here as a reference. And make sure that the subject stays on the right side of the crossing line in the first round. In the second round, we can apply warmer lighting to imitate the warm light bulbs at home. A warmer light is usually from 2700 to 3000 Kelvin. Have the subject act in the new costume starting from when they step over into the nighttime dimension. Make sure to match the action of stepping over for the subject. Creating a mark for a line to cross over will help. The action should remain on the left side of the cross line. Also, it's very important not to change the camera position between both rounds, because it'll make it harder to edit later. And you don't want it to be harder for yourself, do you? Do you? Do you? Now that the filling part is done, let's bring it all into Filmora 10. Drag and drop the daytime clip into your timeline. Find the spot where the subject presses on the remote in the daytime clip. Mark it as marker one by selecting the clip and pressing the letter M on the keyboard. Now, find the spot where the subject steps over to the other dimension in the daytime clip. Select the clip and mark it as marker 2 again by pressing on letter M. Drag the nighttime clip on the upper video track and find the spot where the subject steps over into the nighttime clip. Select the clip and mark it as marker 3. Okay, let's recap the markers that we just made. Marker 1 is when the subject presses on the remote. Marker 2 is when the subject steps over to the other dimension in the daytime clip. And marker 3 is where the step over action happens in the nighttime clip. Now, let's line them all up. Grab the nighttime clip on the timeline and move it until marker 3 is roughly aligned with marker 2. Trim the nighttime clip to where marker 1 is to let the nighttime clip appear when the subject presses on the remote. Apply a shape mask to the nighttime clip. To use a shape mask, go to the effects tab and you'll find it in the utility section. Tweak the mask settings until it shows the nighttime clip on the left side and the daytime clip with the subject on the right. Let's take a look. Since we've already matched the step over action in both clips using markers, the action should look smooth. If not, then just adjust accordingly. Now I'll add some effects to the timeline. Grab the effect Elemental Energy 21 Frequency from the Elemental Energy Pack. Drop it onto the track above the nighttime clip and make sure the swipe starts at the same time the nighttime clip appears. Resize it to fit into the nighttime video on the left. Split the nighttime clip into two where the swipe ends. Apply the chromatic aberration effect by going to the top left effect panel and find the distortion section. Change the settings as needed. Drag and drop laser one from the Blockbuster laser pack to the track above the nighttime clip and then align it with the start of the nighttime clip. Reposition it from the viewer if needed, and extend the laser clip to the end of the scene. All right, that's it. Now let's check it out. Hey. 
So these are the effects that I decided to use for this video, but feel free to be creative and try other effects. If you want to check out other effects that you can use, go ahead and check out the Filmstock website, linked below. All right, and that is how you can teleport through time and space using Filmora 10. If you had a teleportation device, where would you go? Or what time? Or how? Or why? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, keep creating, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You want one more? <laughs> you want one more? You want one more? You want one more? That was pretty good, but.